very excited for this video today because I have just been waiting to talk about this ever since I had to stop training altogether. I should have known not to do this since I've been working out for five and a half years, going on six years. Should have known this, but I just... I wasn't thinking. I'm just getting over a cold, guys, so my voice is like a little bit raspy. <laughs> Making this mistake, guys, not only did it make me lose gains it made me lose size in my glutes that i had been working on for years at this point but it also made me have to stop working out legs altogether. it was dramatic it was it was a it was crazy honestly it was crazy this was last year this is in 2022 ironically this is also the year that i saw the most growth ever that i've ever seen before so i'm going to share with you guys what that mistake that i made was how you guys can avoid it and we're going to talk a little bit about body dysmorphia as well because that definitely played a part. So if you guys are new here, I have been working out for five and a half years. I think what I'm most proud of is my lower body growth. I've seen a lot of growth in that time and it's been like a big focus of mine with training. So last year, every month I was like, I need to go harder. Every single month. I was like, I need to give this my all. I need to keep seeing more growth. I think it was a lot of things combined. It was me feeling like no matter what I did, I felt like my body just did not look like I wanted it to look. Although I was very happy with my growth, very thankful for all my growth, and at times I really loved my body, I did, I did get into an unhealthy habit of going to the gym feeling like i need to get bigger i need to grow more i need to see so much more growth i need to share it with you guys i just got into a very unhealthy mindset with my growth and with my glute growth specifically so at times i was doing four leg days a week in 2022 not only was i doing four leg days a week for months I was also lifting heavier than I've ever lifted before. I would do two extremely heavy leg days. It's actually not easy to overtrain, but I think that I was overtraining. And that is the biggest mistake that I made when it came to my glute growth because I had to stop lifting heavy altogether. I actually had to take a break from working out. My body felt so weak all of a sudden it just hit me like after months of lifting like this after months of like abusing and like just going to the extreme to see this booty growth i just remember one day i went in with my friend meg and we kind of were just like i can't i can't lift this and after a couple weeks of this not feeling like i could lift anything like to give you guys perspective imagine going from being able to hip thrust 365 on hip thrust, 365 pounds, to barely being able to do reps of 185. 2022 was a year of growth for me. I think the beginning of the year, it was working out for me. And then after months of doing this, my body was like, nope. Nope, you need to chill. To go from lifting extremely heavy, eating like crazy, eating you know a lot of protein, being super consistent to not being able to work out like that anymore it was a pretty significant difference and as you guys are seeing in pictures here i saw definitely some loss of loss of muscle and guys i think one of the biggest reasons i was overtraining the way that i was and i don't use that word lightly because i know it's not easy to overtrain it actually takes a lot to overtrain but i truly think that i was um to the point where my body just like broke down and was like you can't lift anymore at all you can't even do this anymore i just did not feel like i was satisfied like i didn't feel like my growth was enough although i looked the best i've ever looked and i can say that humbly like i put so much work into my body last year more work than i ever have I just wasn't happy enough with my progress. I wasn't satisfied with it. And it made me overwork, it made me overtrain. And I just remember 
I mean, this year looking back, I did this today actually, which made me want to film this video. I was looking back at old pictures and I was just like, I don't remember looking like this. I, I genuinely don't remember it. I look back at old pictures and I didn't even like post them because I felt like it didn't look good enough still, which is just so crazy to me that I was at a place that nothing, like it had to be very extreme for me to feel satisfied. And it was an unhealthy mindset to be in for a couple months. Luckily, my body kind of forced me out of it. And I had to just like surrender to taking a break and really being okay with losing muscle. It was a little bit of a like, it was a process, but after taking that month off, I felt so much better. This this gets me into like a whole different video, but it's kind of the another reason I took a break from social media and I didn't have a desire to post anymore because I felt like a lot of the body dysmorphia was coming from myself, definitely. Like I'm not gonna blame anything or anybody else. Be in this like, it felt like at the time a toxic environment in the space that I was in, in the fitness space. I felt like it was becoming a lot more toxic and I do have a previous video I'll link down below about how I feel about the fitness space today in 2023. But I'm excited to be able to share with you guys coming out of that now, doing a whole different routine that I was doing last year, feeling better than I've ever felt before with myself, with my body, with my social media. I feel better than I've ever felt. And I wouldn't be here without learning that. And I've said this from day one, guys. If there's anything I'm happy to do, it's share with you guys my mistakes, what I've learned throughout the journey so that you guys don't have to make these same mistakes and learn the hard way. So if you're in that place where you just feel like I just need to see more growth, it's just not good enough. It's just, I need to see it now. Like I need to compete with this person, with this person. Like I need to be better. I advise that you just, one, just like look at how far you've come. Look at how much growth you've seen so far. And you can't rush this process. Like it, there's no way to rush it. You can definitely be more strategic in how you get to your goals faster, but this can't be rushed. And if you're doing the right things consistently, you will see that growth. Like there's no doubt that you'll see it, but you just have to be patient with the process. Trust the process, guys. Also, like I just felt like I was telling myself so many lies, like Anyways, that's a whole that's a whole different video, but that's not this video. So what my routine looks like now that's been really really working for me is I actually for I actually for the longest time was only doing two leg days a week. So I went from doing four leg days, two heavy and then two kind of lighter higher reps. I was doing two leg days for 6 to 8 months just two. I made sure that I wasn't going over that because I really wanted to like repair my muscles give them a little bit of a break and just be smarter about the growth process so i only was doing two leg days for a long time i saw a lot more growth actually doing that and only the last two months did i start to add another leg day into my week super spread out from the other two that's another thing i'll say my two leg days were very spaced out during the week. I would do one on Monday and then one of them would be like Saturday or Sunday. Sometimes I would do like a Friday workout, but I really, really made sure to just space out my leg days. As much as I wanted to do legs, go in there, get that glute pump. I just made sure to just chill on the leg days. My body was so thankful for that. I honestly saw so much growth with changing up my routine. And now I do three leg days a week. One of them is a lot lighter and it's definitely more of like an accessory. I'll do a mix of um, glute workouts and leg workouts and it just, it works really well for me. I just wanna finish this video guys by saying, listen to your body more. I think we just get this idea in our head like we need to look like this, we need to do this routine. Maybe someone's telling you to do something. Whatever it may be, listen to your body, like trust how you feel trust just trust it i should have trust my body more and realized i was overdoing it 
for no reason honestly i was overdoing it so i feel like what a lot of girls do is they go to the gym they don't really have a structure they don't have a program or anything and they just go in there based on what they saw on tiktok what they did yesterday what they did the month before and i feel like that's such an easy way to miss out on gains miss out on seeing growth as fast as you can or even worse, just not seeing progress altogether. I feel like the best way to see growth is to follow a periodized structure where you're able to just continue to see that growth every single month. You can It can adapt to your body, it can adapt to your workouts, and you're just able to see the max amount of potential that your body is capable of. I did make an entirely new program and used all of the knowledge that I got from last year, all of the mistakes that I learned, all of the ways I was able to get as thick as possible last year, which was my thickest year of all time. Honestly, both of my programs are like amazing. I think the first one is a lot more, I feel like the first one honestly is a little bit more geared towards experienced lifters or lifters that have been lifting for at least a year but both of them are great i feel like the fit thick program is great for everyone like i think everyone could benefit from it but it's just a little bit simpler just a little bit simpler both of them follow an rpe structure and it is periodized both of them are so super beneficial if you want a structure to follow it's just i think it's just the best way to go about it so program is down below i do have a sale going on as well if you buy a program and my nutrition guide, you get 25% off. But guys, I hope you got so much out of this video. I've been waiting to film this one for a long time because this someone needs to hear this. Someone needed to hear all of the things I had to say. I've made a lot of mistakes in these five and a half years and I know I'm going to continue to make them. At least you learn and you get better along the way. But I hope you guys love this video. I have a lot of videos coming your way. I love you guys so much. I will see you very soon in my next video.